Good morning, friends. Breakfast I'm going to show you is going to be my smoothie, my three-point smoothie. But remember, I do not count blended fruits. Um, I never have. If you count it, that is great, but I just don't count it. So in my smoothie, I use um, our milk, um, Mooville skim milk. It has that A2, A2 milk in it. Um, I've noticed that if I drink milk now without that in it, it really bothers my stomach, but it's supposed to be better for, for you. Um, I will have a banana. Bananas always seem to make it smoother, and if you freeze your bananas, it will make it even thicker. I use the Fage, um, non-fat Greek yogurt. And then I use um, mixed fruits in it. My, um, I usually put in spinach, but the spinach is all gone. And my blueberries are all gone. So I'm going to add this to my Ninja mixer right here. And I'll show you what it looks like in just a second. So this is what it looks like. It's pretty, pretty thick like ice cream. Spoon, so you can see. So you could eat it like this, but this will take me a couple hours to work down because I do other things in between. But anyways, um, that is what it looks like. Um, if you want it thinner, use less. Um, fruit in it. I'm going to start. I measured it out this time to see. I've got three cups of fruit in here, which is quite a bit. So I'm going to start trying to um, only put two cups in it and go from there. But um, yeah, so this will be my breakfast. So that is my breakfast right there. I do have my um, sugar-free French vanilla creamer in there. I put the cup on my um, scales and I don't even, it is two points for one tablespoon, but it is um, serving size is two teaspoons and one teaspoon is one point. Um, but when I weighed it out, I don't even use one point's worth. So, so my coffee will be zero. That will be three. Um, and it makes a lot, like I said, but it is what it is, right? I am keeping track of my calories this week, and um, I'm going to see um, by the end of the week how I do on my calories to see if that is making a hindrance on the weight loss or if I'm not getting enough calories. But I'm also tracking in my um, in my Weight Watcher app. I have a Lose It app, L O S E, and then I T app. It is a free app. Um, it also has, I think, for nine ninety nine um, a year. You can pay, and then you can scan, and you can get some other things like tracking your water and stuff like that. But when Mr. Jerry was losing weight um, with me doing this, uh, we used to do the Lose It app. I did the Weight Watcher app, but I also did, did the Lose It because he wasn't on Weight Watchers. But at least back then, um, he could input all his foods. And I know we used to be able to scan it for free. But now they've changed it, and so it's part of the $9.99. So I wish it was for free, but it does have a microphone, so I can, you know, speak into the microphone for it to find it. So um, I'm going to try that and see. It's not going to be that much more difficult to do both because, you know, 
if I'm tracking per you know pretty much what I eat every day anyways it's just one little extra step so um, and on the times that I'm busy and I can't track it I'll take a picture of it and then I'll go back to it so but I just want to see if that makes a difference in my weight loss to see um, if I'm getting enough calories in the week or the day or if I'm not getting enough um, I am not going to leave Weight Watchers I am still doing Weight Watchers but it's that added tool it will tell me right now how much protein I get at the end of the day how many carbs and um, how many fats that is the basic so but anyways as you can tell is a beautiful sunny morning out got the sunshine of Miss Callie Mr. Jerry left for an estate sale I know he what he wanted me to go but when we don't get up early enough for me to um, be able to eat because I have thyroid issues I have to take medication and you're not supposed to eat for an hour um, and I don't do good not eating after that hour and I really didn't have anything to grab to go and eat so which is fine if I really 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 wanted to go I would have made a way but it's 16 degrees out it's, it's chilly I didn't feel like being around a bunch of people at an estate sale and um, he was going for one thing so and I didn't look at pictures because y'all I don't have the money this week <laughs> so um, but anyways I'm gonna let you go I'm gonna um, have my cup of coffee my second cup of coffee I'm gonna knit on my socks my um, let me pull those over a minute I'll show you so right here I am just starting the um, heel flap the back of the heel the heel flap and turn and this is the color right here it's called ribbon candy it was a Christmas color from um, hypnotic yarns I do have one I'm reaching for it sorry I do have one done this is my March sock. I have pulled um, 12 skeins, mystery skeins basically, because I don't remember what I pulled. And I have them in a basket. And on the first of every month, I am having Mr. Jerry pull a number between 1 and 12 out. And then that is what I am doing. I know Miss Jenny is doing this with me. And we'll see if, if I can continue it because summer comes and I'm not for sure if I can get socks done enough where I want to get them done but I'm going to try to it's a way of using up some of my stash so anyway so basically I am just starting this part of the sock right here and then I will do that little heel flap there where your heel sets in and then I will pick up what's called the gusset stitches along here and then I will decrease them back and forth until it gets down to the regular number of stitches I should have here and then I'll just knit the foot till I get down to the toe and I'll do the toe decrease and then I will um, cinch it up what they call it Kitchener stitch so anyways, I use a US 1 knitting needle or 2.25 and um, this is a medium size. Um, I wear a woman's 9.5, 10 and it is a plain vanilla sock pattern um, from the Crazy Sock Lady. Um, but there's all types of vanilla socks. I think I just like it because you just can knit you just knit back and forth 
and I've done enough of these that I can remember the formula of it. Um, I cast on 64 stitches and I do about 10 rows. Um, I used to do 15, but 10 rows seems to be my sweet spot right now. And I do a knit two, a purl two ribbing, so it cinches it in so it helps stay up on your um, leg. So anyways, I'm going to let you go. Like I said before, I'm going to be working on this this morning. My mosaic blanket's over there. And um, my sweater's out in the other room. I worked on that last night. So I'll see you um, later. And if not, I'll see you at lunchtime. So Miss Callie and I say have a fantastic day. Well, she's thinking it. <laughs> Talk to you later, friends. friends it is now 2 30 in the afternoon we ran over to the auction place and i had won some acrylic crochet hooks which i am kind of disappointed in because there's no letters on it someone has taken the letters off so now i gotta, I gotta put the letters on somehow um so then we were in Caledonia, and then we needed milk over in Nashville. So um, we ended up, as you saw, a McDonald's bag. And we had McDonald's for lunch. And it's all tracked. And then now we're at Mooville. And he's picking up the milk. And we're um, getting a small, uh, like a kid size cup of, or I am anyways, of lemon ice cream and he's whatever he's going to get so i will definitely probably more than likely be dipping into my um weeklies that just means that i need to make up the rest of the week um points back but you know what this hour and a half with Mr. Jerry alone and us talking has been worth it all been worth the McDonald's the ice cream whatever um, Mr. Jerry doesn't talk very much and um, the older he's gotten the more that we talk and I just love it and so we just been reminiscing about when my dad was alive and some of the memories we went by a place that we always went fishing and I said right there's the spot that dad always took us um, and just the different things about that and how <clears throat> my dad became an alcoholic and how it changed him and changed the rest of us so um, and how he really really loved mr. Jerry um, and he still loved us kids and he still loved me but the alcohol took over so that's been good reminiscing and stuff so I brought my knitting along but I haven't knitted it's just been nice time just the two of us and so but anyways I'm gonna let you go and um, I just wanted to do a check-in and say um, it's been a good day it's been a good day. Y'all talk to you later and we'll see you at supper time. <laughs>